Leonardo da Vinci lived 500 years ago and is known as being a seriously talented painter, but what made him a genius was the unbelievable range of amazing skills he had. This guy could do just about anything. Take a look for yourself as we reveal our top 10 amazing Leonardo da Vinci talents. In at number 10 is music. Now da Vinci is not that well known for his musical abilities, but he made a number of contributions to music and the design of musical instruments. Da Vinci believed that music was the shaping of the invisible, and during his lifetime he designed a number of musical instruments such as the viola organista, several of which have been constructed recently. He also designed a silver lyre that would produce an amazing sound in comparison to others at the time, and has also been credited with playing several instruments and composing a number of pieces of music. Next up is astronomy. Now da Vinci lived about a hundred years before the telescope was invented, but that didn't stop him gazing at the heavens and wondering about the cosmos. He's quoted as writing, construct glasses to see the moon magnified, and while there's no definitive proof, some of the sketches in his notebook seem to suggest that he was looking into telescope designs. Even more amazing is the fact that he solved the complete mystery at the time of why the unlit portion of the moon could be lit up with a dull glow. Da Vinci worked out that this was due to sunlight reflecting off the surface of the Earth, onto the portion of the moon not directly lit by the sun. Da Vinci also understood that stars look small not due to their size, but due to their great distance from the Earth. In at number 8 are Da Vinci's writings. During his lifetime, Da Vinci kept notebooks of designs, observations, sketches, experiments, theories and inventions. These books contain an insight into the mind of the genius and are considered to be extremely valuable treasures. In fact, back in 1994, Bill Gates purchased one of Da Vinci's notebooks called the Codex Lester for over 30 million dollars. But did you know that Da Vinci mainly wrote backwards in his notebooks in a form of mirror writing? It's believed he did this because he was left-handed, and rather than trying to move the quill left to right and constantly smudging the page, he thought it better to write from right to left and not get himself covered in ink. Or perhaps it would make his notes more difficult to read by the casual observer. At number seven is architecture. During his life, Da Vinci created numerous drawings for cathedrals and buildings. He submitted a planned model for the central tower of Milan Cathedral, although when his design was rejected, he decided not to submit another design. In 1502, he produced a drawing for a bridge to span the mouth of the river Bosphorus in Constantinople. Okay, so lots of people designed bridges, but what made this one so special is it was going to be a single span bridge of over 720 feet or 220 meters. And the first example of a single span bridge was not actually constructed for over another 300 years. But his ambitions did not just stop at a single building or bridge. Da Vinci also drew up designs for the ideal city in response to the plague which had badly affected Milan. This ideal city city would be a clean, multi-level city with excellent communication, transportation and sanitation. These ideas are key to modern city designs. Next up is anatomy. Da Vinci was fascinated by the human form and believed that in order to create brilliantly lifelike artworks, it was important to understand not just how the body looked on the outside, but also how it was constructed inside. Although illegal, it's believed he dissected up to 30 corpses during his lifetime, and he produced hundreds of sketches of the inner working of the body, and thousands of words of notes. And remember, fridges had not been invented in the 1500s. Although his drawings and notes were never formally published, it's believed that his anatomical studies were intended to be published and would have advanced medical knowledge hugely at the time. In at number five in our list is sculpture. Da Vinci received a number of commissions for sculptures during his life, but unfortunately none of his major works survive today. In 1482, the Duke of Milan commissioned him to build a 24 foot tall bronze horse in honour of his father. Da Vinci worked on the project for a number of years and produced a full size model of the statue made from clay, but unfortunately never managed to produce the final piece, as when war broke out with the French, the 70 plus tons of bronze required for the statue were put to use to make cannons. When the French invaded, the clay horse apparently became the perfect target for practice for the French archers. In a number four is maths. Da Vinci is reported to have said, let no one read me who is not a mathematician. And he applied mathematical principles and theories in his designs, inventions and artwork. His Vitruvian man depicts a human form within both a circle and a square, and is said to represent the body in perfect proportions. His famous paintings, The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa, are constructed using the principles of the golden ratio. It's believed that one of the reasons the Mona Lisa painting is so revered is that it supposedly is a representation of visual mathematical perfection in human form. Da Vinci also used the concepts of perspective and infinity in his paintings. Da Vinci was able to visualise and draw highly complex shapes and produce over 60 drawings for the book On the Divine Proportion which was first printed in 1509. At number three are his skills as a military engineer. Although Da Vinci hated the idea of war, he knew that in order to gain patronage he would need to market his inventing skills as a military engineer, and successfully did this a number of times during his life. He produced a huge range of designs and inventions for warfare machinery, some of which were hugely ahead of the time and would have been completely unheard of in the 16th century. Da Vinci's inventions included an enormous crossbow, a multi-barrel cannon that could be fired and reloaded at the same time, a design for a fully enclosed human-powered tank, war chariots, burning mirrors, catapults and a submarine. In addition to war machines, he also produced drawings and maps which were of huge use to the military, such as the detailed map of Imola. No top 10 list of Leonardo da Vinci talents would be complete without the talent he's probably best known for, which is painting. Da Vinci was an exceptional painter, so 
much so that it's reported when his tutor Andrea del Verrocchio saw what his talented pupil could achieve, he vowed to never paint again. Leonardo produced numerous paintings which are hugely famous. The Mona Lisa, which now hangs in the Louvre in France behind bulletproof glass, is reportedly the most visited painting in history, although there are numerous theories as to who the painting represents. The Last Supper depicts Jesus and his apostles at the moment they he announces he will be betrayed by one of them. And this painting has been the subject of controversy about who was seated at Jesus' right. Was it John or Mary? And who was actually holding the dagger you can see on the left side of the painting? Da Vinci's paintings are hugely popular and also hugely valuable. In November 2017, his painting Salvatore Mundi, which depicts an image of Jesus, sold for an amazing $450 million at auction. And don't forget, he couldn't just buy his paints from the art shop, but had to make them from what was available at the time. Our final talent and top of our list is Da Vinci's ability to invent. Leonardo invented a huge number of different things during his lifetime, which were often centuries ahead of his time, and many of his futuristic designs have been proven to be valid in modern times. Apart from his different military creations, he developed designs for a huge number of different purposes, including an autonomous robot from which concepts have been used by NASA, a flying machine with a wingspan of 30 feet, a car that was self-propelled using a spring, a helicopter which four men would power to make it fly, a parachute which was proven to work in the year 2000, scuba gear for undersea diving, a device to measure wind speed as he was interested in flying, and he even produced a design for a more accurate clock using using springs rather than weights to drive the mechanism. Imagine what this guy could do with the technology that's available today. So this has been our look at the top 10 awesome talents of Leonardo da Vinci, a genius who lived 500 years ago whose legacy still lives on today. Do you agree with our top 10 talents or other other da Vinci skills which you think are even more awesome? As usual, let us know and like, comment and subscribe.